Hello everyone and welcome back to the High Rise YouTube channel. It's been a while since we did a little video and I thought I'd do one today on something which has been uh, I've been working on recently uh, and that is a function in WordPress called the archive title um, and I want to show you what it is and how it works and how you can actually customize it, modify it and change it based on your requirements. So let's get stuck in straight away. Just before we do, if uh, you want to see more videos like this, then please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a big red button below if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, then thank you, and I hope you enjoy these videos. So let's get cracking on this particular topic today. So I'm going to show you my browser. I've got a test web website here um, on my local machine. It's just got the, I think this is 2020, if I'm right. And I'm on a category archive page. So here we've got slash category slash uncategorized, which is the default category that WordPress ships with. Pretty useless, really. Well, that, well it's not general or something, I'm not so sure. But anyway, uncategorized it is. And as you can see, that the 2020 theme outputs um, the archive title up here, and it says category colon and then uncategorized, which is the name of the category in this instance. And this page displays all of the posts which have been assigned to the uncategorized category. Uh, there's two of them, I think there is. Um, and we look at the back end, you can see <clears throat> we've got the two posts. This is the category, there's nothing special here. Let's just go and jump into the code editor here. Um, this is a file I'm going to be working on in a minute just to make some changes. But here's 2020. Um, if we go into the index.php file, which is the file used for this stuff, we get here some stuff about the archive title, um, and you can see that it's 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 displaying an archive title. Here we go. Get the archive title. Um, there's actually a description as well, and it's using this function to be able to display that title. Um, so if we actually have a look at that function, and there we go. So here's the the function itself. Um, so you, what you can see inside this function is it looks um, does some conditional checks if else. And says if this is a category, then we're going to do this. If it's a tag, we're going to do this. If it's an author, we're going to do this. If it's the year, we're going to do it, and so on. You get the idea. Um, and then if it's a custom taxonomy, we can set the title based on what the custom taxonomy is, and and so forth and so forth. So, what we can do then is if we want to customize this, we can because if we go down to the bottom here, there is two um, filters which we can use. Um, one of them is the title prefix. So if we look in our example again over here, we can see it's prefixed with category here. Um, and the other one is, if we go down to the bottom, we've got get the archive title, which is essentially the actual whole thing. So we can just customize the whole thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this filter today to make some changes. A lot of clients that I've worked with don't like the fact that it's got this category at the front. They want to get rid of that and they want to say something like, view all posts in uncategorized, uncategorized, that sort of thing. So we'll make that change today. Now again, this is the beauty of WordPress being an extensible product in that we can make these changes without obviously altering core WordPress. And we can use this filter called get uh, the archive title. So this is just a file in my Mu plugins folder, so it's gonna run all the time. I've just called it test for messing about. And what we're gonna do is create a function which is called modify archive titles and then passed into our function will be these three arguments here which are passed to the filter and they're made available for me to use in my function and that is the title that's the whole title string so in our case it's the category colon space uncategorized it's the original title which is in this case um, uh, the name of the category that's without the prefix on um, and then you get the prefix as well if you wanted to change just the prefix. And then we'll add it to our filter. So add filter and then get the archive title. And then the name of our function and we're passing three arguments. So we need to pass three. This is 10. This is the priority that it will run. So if two or three people were adding the same sort of thing, you could make yours run later by adding a later priority. Now, when you're using filters, and I've said this before, you must return the filterable thing. So um, let's make sure we do that before we carry on. So this is return the title. So this is the thing that we're allowed to change, and these are the arguments that we're allowed to use when we're changing that thing. So 
Um, what we can do is we only want to do this in our example on a category page. So what we can say first of all is if this is a category archive, so it's is category like that, then we're going to set a new title. So the original title, um, I'm pretty sure that is, like I said, the category name. So what we could do is check that. So let's just dump that to the screen just to make sure that is the case. Otherwise, we'd have to get that looking at like what was queried, for example. So let's just check that out. Uh, that's not done anything for some reason. Why has that not done anything? Original title. Is that the right name? Yep. No, I spelt it wrong, I think. Refresh. There we go. Yeah, so the original title in this instance is the name of the category that we're going to be using. So um, we could use that to then build our new title. So back into code, we could say the new title is going to be, and you, you want to make this translatable, so you want to put it something like this. In fact, if we want to stick that on the end, then we're going to want to use um, sprint F, I think it is. I'll talk through this in a second. And then this would have the string and then the text domain. So this would be a text domain of your plugin. Um, this would be the string we want to use. So it'd be latest or view all posts in and then the category name. Now that would be the category name we put here. So it's original title. And then here we'd put like a placeholder which gets replaced with the original title. And I can never remember what this is. It's like percentage one. I'll just grab it from the comments template of here. Here we go. It's this one. Oops. Drag some reason. So percentage one dollar S will get replaced with the original title. Now I could have some other dynamic elements. I could put another one here and that will be percentage two dollar S. And S means it's a string, not a integer or a, or a, another type of data. So we're replacing that view all posts in and then that'll get replaced with uncategorized. I'm going to save that and then we're going to check that it works. And we've got an error. So what's the error say? It says, oh, I've spelt sprintf wrong. I'm not doing well with my spelling today. Am I? It's sprintf. It's sprintf, not sprintf. Let's try that again. There we go. And we've now created a new uh, f format, if you like, for the category titles. So we can still... Um, we can have our own titles for the categories. We could go on and do more in here. So we could we could have another if statement here that says if is post type archive, um, and then we could just do it for a specific post type archive. So like only for case studies, for example, um, and then we could do the same thing and set a new title with that one as well. But hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can modify the page titles in WordPress. Um, when you are uh, looking at the archive titles. And then you could also do other things in there. You could pull data from other things and, and put it in. You could put a paragraph under it, but there is the archive description for that, so I'd recommend you look at that anyway. Anyway, hopefully that was a really brief overview of how to use the archive title in WordPress and how to customize it more importantly than ever. If you have enjoyed this video, then I would love you to like this video. And if you have a question for me, please add it to the comments below. And again, if you're not subscribed, then I'd love you to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to do more and more little WordPress tips and tricks videos and uh, as we go along and you will uh, not miss out on any of those. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.